Are you tired of your chat messages just being lost in the wealth of information that you get from Microsoft Teams? Do you want your chat to stand out? Well, let's find out how. Sometimes you can't see the wood for the trees when using chat within Microsoft Teams. However, did you know that you could use formatted chat to make your chat messages and conversations stand out from the rest? Well, in a normal chat window like our Night's Watch Game of Thrones news feed, any chat is just going to fall into the background, as we've mentioned. But how do you make it stand out? How do you make it eye-grabbing, attention-grabbing? Well, quite simple, you use formatted text. Now each of these text boxes do have a function and clicking on the bottom icon with the A and the little pen next to it, you can start to utilize a sort of a word-like interface with bold, italic, underline, things like that, even add tables. All this will make your text stand out. Now, bold again, you know, italic, underline, we're used to this sort of thing. All right. Sizing of text, colouring of text, highlighting can all be added in. And this will make whatever you're writing about within your conversational panel that bit more engaging, a little bit more noticeable. Now, not only do we have all the functions that are listed atop that top bar of that one particular chat window, but you also have all the other embellishments that you can put on as well, like giffies and emojis, providing they've been switched on by your admin. Now, I think this function is really good, and I think, you know, it will actually make your text stand out. Formatted text within Microsoft Teams, I think, is a great addition, and I do encourage people to use it on the seminars that we run. Now, with anything, I would encourage people not to go too crazy. Don't make it too gearish where people think, oh my God, what is the information they're trying to convey? Be sensible about it. You wouldn't use all different colours and what have you if you were writing a document. You'd use enough subtlety to make the information that you wanted to stand out, stand out, and the rest, which is obviously still important information, would be effectively in the background. But bring to the forefront what you need to get across in a way that is compelling for people to read. There's only, there are certain things that really irritate me, and that is too much colour and too many effects on PowerPoint presentations and Word documents. You know, it, it can be really adverse to what you're trying to do and what you're trying to achieve. I mean, good functions here about putting numbers next to um, particular lines, also bullet points. But the good point as well is that you can put um, annotations and quotes in there as well. That will make a certain part of text stand out. Quotes being a function where you can see there it's highlighted in the highlighted box as a quote. Also with tables, and also putting in links to other websites and also GIFs, as we mentioned, can also help embellish your comments to get your point across. And you can see I've put a link into the Collaboration Kernel website um, quite simply by typing in www.collaborationkernel.com. Then going to the Giphy side of things as well. You know, I mean, we all, we're all familiar with this. You can add headings, different types of headings, headings one, two, and three. Again, you can really format this, but you've got a question. If it's that important, then why not put a small segment of a document in that window and then put a link to a document that you've uploaded to the file section in that particular channel? So use with caution um, is my advice here. I also suggest that don't have too much use of all the functionality within a chat window, um, even though it is going to be formatted. That's going to derive the point you're getting across. And also think about, you know, what content you want to share in a chat as opposed to what content you want to share in a document or other format. I've been the Collaboration Colonel. Thanks very much for watching this quick Microsoft Teams tip on formatting text. Check back for more videos in the series and check out the back catalog as well. We're also online at www.thecollaborationkernel.com. We've also got Twitter at, at collaboration K and we're also on Facebook at collaboration kernel. See you soon and happy collaborating. <laughs>